The Creever inquiry into Canada's blood supply has moved into its final stage. Seven more months of testimony, this time focusing on the role national organizations played in the tainted blood tragedy. Here's our health specialist, Brenda Craig, with more on today's session. The Creever Commission now begins what may be the most significant part of its investigation. Difficult as the first uh, part was, I expect that the second part will be more difficult. But um, we're capable of, uh, of the task. The commission is intended to trace the events and public policy decisions of the early 1980s that preceded the contamination of the blood supply with the deadly virus that causes AIDS. 40% of all hemophiliacs and hundreds more Canadians were infected with HIV, thousands more with hepatitis C. Uh, Donald Pinkston Francis. Before the Commission hears from Canadian policymakers, it's hearing from the legendary American scientist Dr. Don Francis. Once considered a loudmouth alarmist, papers from 1982 show he was among the first to understand how the virus spread and sound the warning. The possibility of transmission via blood or blood products needs to be rapidly investigated. We're really talking about a transmissible agent now that looks just as a virus. Justice Creever has repeatedly said his commission is not a witch hunt. But after months of being suspect number one, the Canadian Red Cross attempted to deflect those accusations. Oh, there's no question about it. The, the Red Cross uh, response was guided by the recommendations of the various hemophilia societies, and, and in particular the Medical and Scientific Advisory Committee of the Canadian Hemophilia Society. Hemophilia Society in Canada. Over and over again, it has been the Red Cross and above them the, the Bureau of Biologics, who have not been clear in terms of in the past that these products were a risk and that these products were not safe. After his testimony today, Francis told reporters the public health response on both sides of the border was inadequate. I don't truly understand them either of why there was such inertia uh, from blood and blood products. Uh, producers uh, in both our countries. His testimony in the days to come may make some people feel uncomfortable. Brenda Craig, CBC News, Toronto.